ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Tron here. Anyways, as you guys know, I have been talking about a person that I've wanted to be on this channel for a very long time. His name is William Gideon. And by the way, go subscribe to his channel, like, comment, and do all that good stuff. So anyways, and if you see the little trod in the corner, please subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel too. I appreciate it, and he will appreciate it too. So anyways, let's bring in the gentleman himself, William Gideon. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tron. Thank you. It's a pleasure to finally be here with you. Yes, yes, yes. So what we're doing today is going to be doing two separate loaded carries. We're going to be doing the Zercher carry with the yoke. And we're also going to be doing the farmer's carry with the fat grip trap bar. Uh, what that's going to do is really going to work your shoulders, arms, core, pretty much everything you need for a good, strong deadlift. I know you're a fan of deadlifting. Yes. Didn't yes. you just have a deadlift video? I did. You guys should go check that out. That was in the last video from yesterday. But go check it out. And let's get to the point and to the topic and also let's see you demonstrate this. Alright, so we're going to start with the Zercher carry. I really like Zercher carry. You're going to carry it across your arms in front of you. That's going to pull you forward so you're going to have to really engage your posterior chain in order to be able to do the lift correctly and of course we know you got to have a good strong posterior chain for a good strong deadlift. That is true. Listen to this man. He's the expert here. Absolutely. So we're going to start with some lighter weights. We do um, just one or two warm-up sets, one each farmer's carry and one zercher, and then we're going to go up in weight, hopefully hit it hard. Ladies and gentlemen, All right. let's get this rolling. Boom! Boom! Probably going to be going about 100 feet or so each way, so I'm going to go down, put it down, turn around, and come back. Raining outside, we actually got some decent sunlight. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be pretty brutal. So we've measured this before. Uh, basically, I just go uh, down to the, tel the telephone pole and back. That's right around 100 feet. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not, um, not even maxing today or anything. Today's kind of a light medium day for me. I'm maxing on Thursday. So uh, as you can see, we're just going to pick it up crossbody carry it slow and controlled and we'll worry about some heavy weights in the next few sets. Hopefully we won't get too much traffic. They got the crossbar right about mid torso. Pick it up. It's just going to keep the feet off the ground and we're going to just go. So, sir, how did that feel? Real good, real good. As you notice when you're carrying it across the front here, that's going to kind of compress your rib cage a little bit. See, I'm a little out of breath because you can't get a full expansion to the rib cage. So, that's one thing that's really challenging about the Zercher carry is as your heart rate and your breaths per minute go up with normal exercise. You can't really get the full breadth of air you would like when you're doing a max effort deadlift. So, you want to come over here next up? This is the fat grip two inch trap bar. I always like fat grips on farmer's carry and the rubber plates because we're outdoors and I don't feel like, uh, you know, chipping my good steel plates. So, Gonna roll this guy out and give it a run.
sir, how was that? <laughs> that was great. Definitely a lot more difficult after you do the Zercher carry than just picking it up and going for the first time. So, sir, what are the weights you will, will be doing on this, uh, on the this next one, lift? Uh, next lift is going to be probably 210 on Zercher, Zercher carry. And this right now is uh, 235. That I'm probably going to go up. 285 to 305, I'm not really sure. Probably gonna do the zercher first. I'm gonna go grab some plates. Unless you wanna get in. Do you wanna get in for a set? I will do a set as long as you could hold the camera, I sir. Can, I can do that. Let's do a set. Hold on. What do, I do? do the farmers. Yes. No, that's the zercher. Do the farmers. Yes. 235. Well, you can see the plates from all the way down the street, so that's a good sign. I think a, a few important things to add. Anyone that trains with me, done. Whoa! Whoa! Step back a little bit. We got to get some sun. There you go. That was brutal. Anyone that trains with me does loaded carries. And they're probably the most important thing anyone can do. And probably also the most commonly uh, omitted or commonly left out exercise that uh, potentially could be the missing link. But. Let me stand over here and get a, get some better camera. Oh, oh, I, wanna, oh. I need to get some light on that be that beautiful pink shirt. Yes. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's a beautiful shirt. All right. I'm going to go get some plates. I'm really liking those farmer's carries. I didn't get to do those in my last comp. So. Let's get these plates. All right. I'll be back. I'll watch you. Okay. <sighs> that was pretty brutal. Normally... Said, Who is this man walking here? We're going back to the back to the garage. Yeah. Who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? So we are going to be using more rubber plates because uh, we use the steel plates over here. Steel plates on the deadlift because that's uh, what they do in competition. Uh, rubber plates are just kind of whatever ha the gym has available. So. Um, let's go up, let's just go on an extra 50 pounds. Who is this man and what is he doing? Well, you want to show, uh, show all these beautiful Atlas stones, Whoa. The pens, the sandbags. Yes. Propane tanks are still there. This is an amazing gem. Boom! Woo! All right, let's throw some 25s on, see how that goes. 25s. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what this weight is yet, but I'll let my friend tell you what the weight is once we get up here. Look at this man. Look at this man. He's putting the weights on as we speak. Ooh. Sir, what is this weight now? This is uh, 285. Ooh. Again, this is a light day. 
my best ever was right around 400. So, you know, I get two days recovery, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, usually I do like arms or upper body just so I'm not too taxed for the Thursday max effort uh, deadlift day. So I'd say 285-ish, around 300 should be good for today. Good 60 to 75% max. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think he'll be able to do this weight? Oh, it looks tough. That is the question. The question! Will he be able to do this? You know, I'm not, uh, like we said, not too big a fan of bumpers in general, but when you're doing these uh, longer distance carries, it's way easier than moving out, you know, two or three stall mats, so... Ladies and gentlemen, here is the question. Is this man a pansy or will he be able to do the weight? Put me on the spot. Is he a pansy or is he not a pansy? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. He is ready to rock and roll, baby. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, he's now officially not a pansy. That two inch grip is brutal. It's easy going down, but oh man, the way back it's just fried. See, get this is the standard grip one inch. Up here is two, so it makes your grip inefficient. So you have to contract twice as hard. So, you want to give it a go? I will do this and this will be my last attempt, sir. Sounds good. Great job. Always a good day when you can see the plates from roughly a hundred feet away. How's that grip feel? How's that grip feel? <laughs> See, that's why we use bumper plates. That was brutal. Well done, well done. Harder coming back, isn't it? Yes! Very difficult. Do you want to say anything in conclusion? I want to say thank you very much for coming to my channel and demonstrating all your expertise. Thank you. On this stuff. Anytime, my friend, anytime. And that is a wrap. Mr. Trod says goodbye for now. Woo!